The IAB seized on the spot once again for all the wrong reasons. The Embattled Commission's wars began last year when Commissioner Rosalina Kombe, she's the one who resigned first, and she cited several reasons to her resignation. One was external interference and lack of independence among the commissioners. In April last year, Vice Chairperson as well, that's Consulate and Kata Minor, also resigned and Paul Krugat as well as a commissioner and Margaret Mochanya as well. They too cited disunity. The poll agency now falls below the requisite quorum for making binding resolutions. The IBC Act sets the quorum at five. Now today, Commissioner Nkatha and some of the suppliers who had business deals with the IBC appeared before Parliament. Citizen TV's Stephen Leto has been following up all those details and is joining me live now. Stephen, what happened there today? Well, uh, good evening to you, Trev, there in studio. Indeed, from the newsroom, we've been following this matter since morning. And of course, two uh, merchant companies appeared before the Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly, chaired by Opio Wandai, the Member of Parliament for Ugunja, Oracle Kenya, as well as IBM, appeared before the MPs with a uh, number of issues uh, coming up, including a debt owed to the companies for services they provided in terms of giving IBC the election infrastructure. For instance, IBM had received 800 million shillings out of the 1.9 billion shillings that they had tendered to the IABC and now they are uh, demanding that IABC pays them an additional 1.1 billion shillings for the supply of uh, servers as well as Kim's security. Oracle Kenya Trev also appeared before the MPs and demanded that they be paid an additional 193 million shillings because only out of the uh, uh, the entire contract, they had only been, been paid uh, 80 million shillings. And so they have been uh, complaining that they have been, uh, you know, making frantic calls to the commission to ensure that they, re they get the money, but their calls have not been answered, meaning IBC is trying to run away from their obligation to pay the merchant companies who provided the election infrastructure. And of course, meanwhile, Trev, you've mentioned that former IBC Vice Chair uh, Consulate and Katha also appeared before the committee uh, to just shed light on how uh, and why she resigned from the commission uh, in April last year, and this is what she had to tell the members of parliament in that committee. It's in the private, uh, it's in the public, that during my tenure as a commissioner, the newspaper had even quoted that we had issues with the chairman. And as I said, after finishing the elections, I really did not want to go. It was very. Um, it was, it, it was not good for me, it was not good for my family either. And as a matter of principle, I said I resigned. And I don't think that um, there's any problem with resigning if I felt that I could not be what I wanted to be when I joined the commission. I don't see any issue with that. In terms of my letter, it was taken through the right channel. I actually gave my uh, driver then to go and drop it in the office of the president. So whether it's written or not, I don't know. Trev, the members of parliament took issue with uh, Consulate and Katha, uh, you know, giving uh, her driver a letter of resignation to deliver to the office of the president, and they termed that as unprocedural. And of course, that painting a picture of, uh, you know, a commission in limbo, because until now, like you've mentioned there, on, that the commission is, you know, not fully, uh, you know, constituted because uh, they cannot hold plenary sittings because the quorum is five, and there are only three commissioners left. One one of them being Chair Wafula Chebukati. And so those are some of the critical issues that, uh, you know, the, uh, comes at this particular time. And, uh, you know, several issues coming up, uh, Trev, including the boundaries review in which the IABC is supposed to take that uh, key role in terms of, you know, reviewing boundaries countrywide. Trevor. So Leto, in a nutshell, where does this leave the IABC? Trev, whether uh, this leaves the IBC is that there has to be now a law to ensure that there is a way to replace the four commissioners who are uh, not in the commission, or rather the members of parliament are now come, coming in to ensure that, you know, they come all, uh, up with the legislation or a way forward to ensure that, you know, the IBC is fully constituted in terms of constituting a fresh independent electoral and boundaries commission or replacing four commissioners who have exited the stage. But as of now, we have no such a law to, uh, you know, uh, 
execute that. But of course, remember there has been a lot of uh, you know legislation proposals to bring into the change uh, to to bring the changes of IABC, and that is what of course we are waiting to see what members of parliament will have to do when they resume from recess next week.